Hey everybody, thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. I'm Adam and today I'm going to be applying a fiberglass epoxy seal to the inside of my cedar strip canoe. In my last video I put a fiberglass epoxy seal on the outside of the hole. In this video I'm going to show the process for sanding the outside and fiberglassing the inside. After the epoxy cures, it looks really nice and shiny, but it's a little lumpy. You have to sand it to get a smooth finish, and it needs to be at least a little rough for the varnish to stick. I start by cutting the excess fiberglass off with a knife, then I orbital sand the entire thing with 60 grit, then I sand it to 120 grit. I don't have a lot of experience with wet sanding, but I read a bunch of stuff that said you're supposed to wet sand with 220 grit now. You get waterproof 220 grit sandpaper, tear it into pieces, dip it into a bucket of water, and start sanding. As you sand, the epoxy will make this white paste. Every once in a while you have to dip it back in the water to clean the paste off because it kind of gums up the paper. It's really pretty tedious and messy, and it takes forever but it's a good opportunity to really admire all the hard work you've done so far up close. I just finished wet sanding with 220 grit. Now the canoe's ready to be taken off the molds and flipped right side up. I built these little hammocks out of 2x4s and clean carpet scraps that I'll flip it onto. It takes some careful prying to get it detached from the molds. But you can see here, I pop it off and flip it onto my hammocks. This is one of the most exciting parts of building to see the canoe right side up for the first time. Now I'm going to repeat the whole process I just did on the outside with the inside of the canoe. I'm not quite as careful about sanding the inside because it's less visible and doesn't have to be aerodynamic like the outside. I sand with the same grits as I did on the outside, 60, then 120, then 180. I roll the fiberglass out, then fold it to lay in and push the wrinkles up the sides with a paintbrush. I put clothespins along the edges to keep the cloth in place until I get the epoxy on. Applying the epoxy is quite a bit easier on the inside than the outside. This is because you don't have to worry about it dripping off the sides like you do for the outside, and you just had a bunch of practice, so you should be more confident with the process. I ended up putting four coats of epoxy on the inside, and then I sanded that just like I sanded the outside epoxy. The last video I made has a lot more information about the fiberglassing process. I put a link to that in the video description. I'm really happy to finally be done working on the hole, because now I get to start working on the trim. I'll be posting videos for that here in the next couple weeks. Thanks for watching. I got doing stuff. Don't forget to hit subscribe.